What is up guys? I am with Rachel Kimsey. She has uh, been a student leader for a while and uh, she has helped with so much of community. Yeah, tell me where you're from, what you do, and what you've done with community. Yeah, so I am from Blacksburg, Virginia, so kind of bottom corner, a little south of everybody else in Virginia. <laughs> Found out about Unbound probably sometime in late middle high school. I think Jonathan Brush was still an admissions counselor back wow, then. Wow, way came back, yes. To, came to do a talk for our homeschool group, and that's how I found out about it. Okay. I ended up coming back to Unbound because actually it gave me a lot of opportunities um, that God had like really opened up during mm -hmm. my gap year. Graduated in 2018, and yeah. I've kind of stuck around in different capacities since then. Yeah. With all your experience with Unbound, um, has there been something that you've learned, um, whether as a student leader or as a student yourself, that has helped you throughout life outside of college? Yeah, so I was thinking about this. Um, so um, I have a couple part-time jobs right now still kind of playing that mm -hmm. game. Um, one of them is working for a Christian Study Center as admin, um, operations and communications manager. But originally um, it was an operations assistant position. I applied kind of right after school, January 2019. This came out on our church email list. I was like, oh, operations assistant. I've done cabinet work. Yep. I can probably do this stuff on this um, job description. Yep. It'll be great. I applied and had an interview. It seemed like it went well and actually um, did not get the job. Mm. Um, and that was kind of really disappointing. Um, I but bet. Yeah, and I think it did seem like a good fit. And I think like, um, though honestly, I was kind of thinking through like what skills have and that given me. And I feel like there's a lot of like resiliency, communication, um, the ability to kind of jump in and hit the ground where you are and like make yeah. the most of it. That door kind of seemed like it was shut, which ended up I had a different part-time job, having only one work well for that season of life. But so fast forward to like July, August 2019, it comes out again. They're looking for an operations assistant. Mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, <laughs> is this like I literally like. Failed the first yeah. time, basically. Like, I did not get the job. Like, why am I even thinking about this again? <laughs> but, um, kind of thought about it, kicked around. So, I emailed the director, like, can you tell me why I didn't get the job? Yeah. Is it worth applying again, basically? Mm -hmm. Um, he actually wrote back and was like, yeah, I think, like, we just found someone else, but they're gone. They had a baby. Like, would you want to come back and see, like, about, like, totally apply again? And so, um, applied again and actually um, did end up getting the job. Obviously, which is really cool. And then another kind of just fun part of it from Unbound, I think, was during the interview, the second interview for this job, um, they're asking me, like, have you done this kind of experience before? Do you feel comfortable with event planning? I was mm -hmm. like, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, done a big one. Yes, um, I've done that before. And then, um, what was it? I was talking about, I think, logistics and how I like really enjoy like the people side of logistics. And so, um, one of the other, ladies interviewing me kind of wisely asked like, okay, but so can you, if you're left to yourself, can you manage like your own deadlines, keep yourself motivated going like that? And I just kind of like paused for a minute because I wasn't expecting that question and thought about like, literally this is a story of my life right now. Like I was like, I, I did my entire degree online. Like, yes, I am pretty comfortable with like my own deadlines. And so that was just cool. And then it's been a lot of since then, like yeah. talking to college students and doing event planning. And now I'm planning a retreat in the fall at the same place we had a Virginia Engage event like a few years ago. Like, that is so cool. Yeah. So what would you say to someone who is considering Unbound and they think it sounds cool, but not sure about how that would really impact them in the future, what would you say? It's a lot of what it really does is kind of allow the degree to be piece of the equation to be kind of open-ended so that mm -hmm. you can fill in a whole lot of other things. I think I've heard it said that like unbound, it's your degree not getting in the way of your life. Like basically if it's family, if it's friendships, if it's ministry, if it's just like opportunities, like unbound allows you to do those things. Mm -hmm. Or just a lot of daily life, you can kind of keep um, whatever your kind of things God's put in your life, you can keep doing instead of kind of having to reprioritize your entire mm -hmm. life around your okay. degree. So Rachel, thank you so much for sharing. Um, it's been really cool working with you over the years and uh, hearing your story now. If you have anyone who is interested in anything that we said, how you get to really work on life and get your education and your degree on the side, um, check out the website below. Check out Ascent, which is our college program now, where you um, get to 
go through classes that are about leadership, are about practical communication skills, where you get to do real life projects, work with other people who are similarly minded. Yeah, there is a lot of opportunity when you're able to take a lot more control of how you use your time, how you use your resources to really learn. Guys, I would love to hear any stories you have of how you've learned with uh, Unbound or what you've learned while doing school through Unbound. Leave them in the comments below. Be Unbound, I'll see you around.